Okay guys, Democles Rocha here. Today we are going to practice some division. What is 2463 divided by 4? Before we start the division, let's remind ourselves of the multiplication table of 4. 0 times 4 is 0, because it's 4 not even once. 1 times 4 is 4 only once, so it's 4. 2 times 4 equals 8, 3 times 4 equals 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24, 7 times 4 is 28, 8 times 4 is 32, and finally 9 times 4 is 36. Okay, so let's get started. We start by looking at this first digit right here. Since 2 is less than 4, well, we need another digit. Now we have 24, and 24 is more than 4, so we can start. And we start by asking the question, how many times does 4 go into 24 without going over? Or we can ask it this way, what number from 0 to 9 do you multiply by 4 to get 24 or almost 24, but not more than 24. If you take a look, you will say that 6 times 4 is exactly 24. So 6 is the number we were looking for. 6 times 4 is 24. I write it here and then we subtract. Take a look. You will say this is pretty easy because 24 minus 24 equals 0. After a subtraction, we bring down the next digit which is this 6 right here. Now we have 0, 6. Forget about the 0 on the left. Think only of this 6 here. What number do I multiply by 4 to get almost 6 or 6, but not more than 6, okay? If you take a look, 2 times 4 is 8. That is too much. So we go with 1. 1 times 4 is only 4. I write 1 here. 1 times 4 equals 4, I write 4 here, and then we subtract. Once again, you will say the subtraction is easy, because 6 take away 4, you get only 2, right? After a subtraction, you bring down the next digit. In this case, is this 3, right here. Okay, now we have 23 here, and we ask the question. What number from 0 to 9 do I multiply by 4 to get almost 23, but not more than 23? Take a look, notice that 6 times 4 is 24, that goes over 23, so 6 is not the number. Well, the number will be 5. 5 times 4 is only 20. I write 5 here, 5 times 4 equals 20, the 20 goes in this place here, and we subtract. 23 minus 20 equals 3, and there is no other digit to bring down. That means the whole quotient in this division is 615 and the remainder is 3. To check that the division was done correctly so far, you can multiply the divisor and the whole quotient, get the product and then add the remainder. By doing so, you will find the dividend. What I'm telling you is that the dividend is always equal to the product of the divisor and the whole quotient added the remainder. Okay, in this case, we can say that 2463 equals 4 times 615 plus 3. Imagine this situation. There are 2463 books that should be divided equally among four schools. Each school would get 615 books and there would be 3 books left over. But what if you are solving some other kind of problem and you want to continue with the division? What do you do? You put the decimal point here. Since there is no digit to bring down, you bring down 0. And you continue by asking the question. What number do you multiply by 4 to get almost 30? Notice that 8 times 4 is too much, so we go with 7 this time. I write 7 here. 7 times 4 equals 28. I write it here and we subtract. 30 minus 28 is 2. Since there is no digit to bring down, I bring down 0. Now we have 20 here. Let's bring it over here so we can continue. We ask the question, what number do I multiply by 4 to get 20? Or almost 20, but not more than 20. Notice the number is 5. 5 times 4 is exactly 20. So 5 goes in here. 5 times 4 is 20. I write it here and we subtract. 20 minus 20 equals 0. 
So there is nothing left over and this is it. We can say that the exact quotient when dividing 2463 by 4 is 615.75. What is 2463 divided by 4? The answer is 615.75. I must tell you that this video was recorded so that it could help you. If it did, please leave a comment with a smiley face. I would be happy to see that. That's it for today. I hope you have a nice day. Bye!